Would you like to hear a story? It's a scary, but it's almost Halloween. It's about Africa. <laughs> Africa. Now, Damien Marley's son, Bob Marley, Bob Marley, you know Bob Marley? Well, then Bob Marley had a kid named Damien Marley, and he starts the song. He says, Africa, and he laughs at it. And we all go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. And they back up and close and start, you know, you know, they really should have. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <clears throat> so, I mentioned uh, in 2006, I found my neighbor's dead corpse. 37 times uh, shanked, you know. So, what happened before that is they were in the Peace Corps. Or, and they found through National Geographic Africa, you know, an endangered species of something and something. And the whole thing was a lie. They went to Africa. And um, they were assaulted immediately, etc. You know, for being, you know, and all sorts of stuff. And they got them up to speed, and they got them up to speed, and they went through and through and through and through and through. And it was like uh, Goofy's dad on Team Goofy's Dad here, which you'll see in the first face, 1943 something. We figured all of Europe was probably, and, uh, you know, along with all of this, was probably going against that, along with, you know, most of this was dead over there, so we'll go down here and they'll go get that and uh whoops okay well let's just change everything around again do, 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 anyway as i was saying so 2006 yep they went over there and then died in africa or at least she did and then they came back and she came back later and she was like I was like okay and then someone killed her and then they said well they knew too much and they're here so we're going to take you and bring you to africa so am i an, am i an african white fist still Am I still reborn in Africa and African white too? Because I could have sworn they chastised this and put a little female part that back there so they could put theirs through here and make a bigger one. And I'd be like on display, like at the zoo, like a person, you know, because I'm not from there or wasn't around there. Am, am I still reborn in Africa? Am I still, am I still like in African white facing somehow? We're not sure. We're not sure. You know? So I'm going to go ahead and review this footage and say, um, like, uh, let's say the 1800s. Well, no, let's say, like, it was, like, hmm, the 1600s. Remember how everyone in Europe wanted to go over there? Is that because they started going up there? And probably. Um, so it was, like, the 1500s. And um, uh, so far, we've worked, I've worked at an African grocery store. It's an African invention grocery store. All of the products were invented in Africa. All of the products are made in Africa. Invention in Africa and brought to the U.S. supposedly to help Africans. But it says, but it says, but it says, yep, but like I... You didn't hear that first part, did you? Well, the products really are very convincing, and it's not only food, although it's an African grocery store. Um, <clears throat> did someone say African Americans? Are they taboo or illegal still? Anyway, um, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> I'm gonna check. So, 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 so. Anyway, so it was like the 1500s and then the stuff, and it's like supposed to be like magic age. So it, 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 it doesn't kill Africans, doesn't probably kill some of the African animals that are stronger. But it kills uh, everything, people that is on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, as well as most of, you know, Asia. And as well, you know, in India, I mean, I don't know why there's any conflicts in uh, or Australia, you know. And so it looks like cocaine, you know, uh, and, oh, it looks like cocaine. Oh. Well, it tastes like heroin, it might be white heroin. And then a little bit later, you start frothing at the whoops, <laughs> you know, or something similar. And so there's that. And then it has like this weird aftertaste. It's like, oh, so maybe it was Coke. And nope, you remember this giant section where you were rushed to the ER. So I was, I, like I said, I was, I was, I was in a Tritown PD. And the, there's no sun there for Waterford. And, you know, there's the Groton thing that you can probably, hopefully consider that Tritown. Worked in Manhattan boroughs and et cetera. So, you know, you, you know who I am. You know, there's, well, it's a story. It's a scary story, close to home, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, there was that. So we found, uh, I mean, we're, we're working there, and I, I guess I'm not, you know, I don't know if they've technically fired me, you know, yet. But that's like an old 1500s powder, yes. Probably up to date from like 2006-ish, which is cool, you know. But then all that blood, you know, a few hours older, it's like, yeah, we've been calling that cola for like 15 years. And, you know, someone during night crew usually wipes it up the best they can. So they use this, this, the, yep, they just take the dollar store spray that says, don't use blood. 
Especially don't use on blood. Okay, well that's probably cola. And although it turns pink, you know, like you're obviously this is well, this is obviously an African grocery store, and obviously well, this may not for whose blood is that. Just just think that's yours. And then they've got these like brown paper towels. It's like why don't you use the paper towel and the you know the stuff that's for? It's like well, just pretend it isn't. And you remember the powder over there? Yeah, don't eat that. Uh, GTG, chickity chick chick one.